All right, so here is my introduction to you for something, a project that I call the elevator list. It's some uh, documents in Google Drive that I have for listing elevator installations around the world by certain manufacturer. This is a way to me to figure out whenever the elevator installation serial numbers follow a chronological order or have some districts being put up between them. So we can take an example look on Kuhn Elevator that is a well recognizable international brand. And here's a lot of list. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't really follow a certain order but in the beginning we have serial number beginning with 800 which are a lot of 1970s and 80s elevators installed in Sweden that are used. And then it follows the normal order of five numbers. But it goes different from different areas. We can take an example here. We have some elevators from 1968 and 1969. Then there's a jump to 1980 and back to 1970, to 74, 1990, and back to 1984. It seems that these series number are different depending on where on the Scandinavian countries they follow. So it seems that smaller local regions around in Sweden and Finland and maybe other countries may have their own small block of serial numbers they can use. And when these are full they will get a new block which are in a higher number apparently. But you still can work out and have some serial numbers that can be filled in. We have a number that follows logically from 1987 to 1988. And then we have three elevators where I don't know when it's built. But I could, can guess if they are really built in 1987 or 1988 as they are stuck in between two elevator installations where I have actually confirmed the build here. So we are going scrolling down to check out to add a new elevator on this list and his, this is how you do it. For my example I have actually a video ready here where this is an inspection certificate. You shall not check out these numbers but you will go down to this number. It's in Sweden we call it tillverkningsnummer and it's 83237 and that is the native Kuhne number so we write it like this H space 83 I have to double check 2317 next we are going to figure out the location and in this case it's also already stated on the address down here as well as on the title down here on the video and it is Narvagata 1 in Nortelje so we write it like this in country SE Nortelje as town and the location Narvagata 1 next up we are going to figure out how many floors it serves and for that I have to check the video itself and we can jump over here and uh, going forward if we have four floor buttons so we can assume that this already stops at four floors so we are just right on the number four down here and then i usually copying text around here so we can copy this text here this is the description field describing how the elevator was built when it was originally new and in the last row we have it will tell how the elevator is right now so this elevator is in original condition and it seems to be in a great condition as well it has not been modernized or changed in any way that's this significant also we can also figure out the build here of the elevator if we search around in this video maybe in the end perhaps Let's check it out.
well apparently I did forget to check out that. However, this elevator, this video contains of another Kuna elevator in the same area. So we're going to check out there to find out if we find any ability on this one. And here it is, it says 1988. So we can add it just here. Let's find out that this orbit serves five floors. Oops. Look at down third down in this video. We should find the inspection certificate right here. So we write down 1988 here. And 1988 here. This will have 083238. So we can actually drag one down here and it will automatically be added one number up. We do the same here SE Nortelia Bon Gorge go down number four. It's the address of this specific elevator. And as we saw earlier, the floor itself are five. And we can also copy over this text as well. Here you go. Here's so you add a new elevator from Kuna built up until 1999. So in the next row here, we have some rows down here. We have the H number, we have the eight digit number, which are the numbers that uh, Kuna uses nowadays from the year 2000 onwards. It might be also different or something. So far I only added two elevators in this list. And one is an echo disk, while the other one is just a hydraulic elevator built in the 2001. And then if you found elevators that don't have any serial number, add it here. So it isn't confused with the elevators that already have one. So serial number as well as the location of the elevator is the most important thing to add there. If you don't have any of them, then add these elevators here instead. So that is about Kuhn elevators. I also have Otis elevators. It works pretty much the same way. You have the bolt here in the first row, serial number next, the location the third, floors description and the status a new row after this you can add some comments like youtube videos for example or if you have something to say about this elevator you can also add it there and then we have the fold suite and i have the dv inlifter and kuna asir graham to also figure out if they follow any order. So we have, for example, here we have a lot of Azir Graham elevators built in the 60s. Some are built in 1959. They're aimed floors. Description. And the status of the elevator as of today. And if they're quite straightforward, they just follow the number from in certain order, and it also makes sense in the year order as well. So we have the built here, here, we have the serial number, we have the locations, aim at the floors they serve, the description of the elevators, as well as the current status of them, some of Modernus Bakuni, as you can see down here. And it's got new controllers. And here's the link to YouTube videos of these as well. Don't know why I have added a blank space here, but I will fix that soon. So all the stuff needs to be fixed. And all our favorite D elevators that always start with a K number. That can be seen over here. With some built here. 
it seems to all follow order, but there are also two blocks here. We have the K5 number, which I guess represents the Stockholm office that covers north half of Sweden as well as Åland. And the high number, the 7, 8 numbers, represents Alvesta and Bunker Ljungby in Skåne which delivers our videos in South Sweden and export them to Rebusin in Norway and probably to Iceland and other parts of the world. They have a much higher number, but they also follow such certain orders. It's quite easy to figure out when the elevators has been built here as well. And the same thing goes here. You will have the built here as, and then it follows the serial number the location. Here's an example of Norway, Lillestrøm. And this building have a name called Best Western Fagborg Hotel. And the address, the floor, some description. The TK ID is a fixture type that the elevators used. And the status. And you can add some comments on row G. That's how it's work. If you if you really got what I'm trying to say and start to want to start to add your own elevator in my list and add your some new lift for other manufacturers as well, then you can ask me on the comment section below or anywhere else, and I will add you as an administrator here, so you can also edit these lists. So good luck to help me fill out the elevator list and have fun.